Weather patterns across the country and here in West Michigan are not just determined by what happened yesterday or conditions to our immediate west. One of those major factors, La Nina, which could do something pretty rare as we get closer to the winter months. Meteorologist Michael Behrens joins us now to explain. Yeah, those patterns out there with the El Nino and La Nina systems definitely impact us here in West Michigan and the La Nina system this year may do a rare triple dip. That means three consecutive winters that experience La Nina conditions. It's only the third or fourth time since 1950 where we've seen that happen third or fourth, depending on where you draw that line for a La Nina in terms of water temperatures in the Southern Pacific. The most recent time we saw this, though, was summer of 1998 when La Nina went into place that lasted all the way through spring of 2001. So let's go ahead and give you a refresh about what La Nina's are. That's when you have trade winds in the Southern Pacific push cooler water across the Pacific, causing upwelling along the coast of South America. Those winds and those water temperatures have impacts on us here in the United States and in West Michigan. Typically a winter with La Nina conditions will result in wetter than average conditions across the southern portion of Michigan and down through northern Tennessee, warm weather in the southern U.S., dry weather in the southwest, and cooler weather that comes down into the northern plains. So how these factors uh, set out as we go into winter can certainly impact our conditions here on the ground in West Michigan and the forecast from the Climate Prediction Center heading through the winter months is indeed for wetter than normal conditions across the lower peninsula of Michigan. As far as temperatures go, the current forecast is about equal chances for above or below normal conditions. So wetter on its own doesn't necessarily mean more snow, but if we can get into some of that cooler air, we could certainly be looking at a snowier than normal winter. You'll have to wait for the full winter forecast, which Chief Meteorologist George Lessons is already starting to work on here coming up as we get into November. As far as that La Nina goes, though, the forecast through fall, 86% chance for that can to continue. It's not quite as strong as we look at the winter as a whole, if only a 60% forecast to continue, but that's still pretty good odds. And that triple dip is starting to look likely. Mm, wow, thank you, Michael. That's very interesting.